Uh, yeah, I mean, I think felt calm the whole time. Felt we just on the ball where I wanted to, but obviously had three three and outs, put our defense in a tough situation. And, uh, you know, I, I think even when Joe goes down, I mean, I'm going on the game fully expecting to win, so I'm pissed that we lost. Uh, I mean, it was a little bit on the sideline. Like, he, I, could, I saw when he threw that he grabbed it. And uh, so I started warming up a little bit then. And, uh, but it, I mean, that's kind of what I have to run through every week is you know, everybody's hoping everybody stays healthy. But it's kind of my job is to say, like, all right, well, what if Joe gets hurt? And I got to prepare like he's going to get hurt. So for me, it was, I think I kind of ran through that scenario. And then before every game, I kind of, Think through that, and just so when it does happen, it's not the first time. You know, it's all happened in my head, and so uh, felt calm, felt like we were going to go out and win the game, and obviously we didn't do enough. Uh, you know, getting first downs, getting some drives, going at two and three and outs, and uh, you know, but like I said, I, when we went in, I was like, all right, here we go, go win the game, and unfortunately, we're not able to do that. Give me take on how Joe might recover. Yeah. No idea. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I think having a, you know, uh, short week, and then playing in basically the first non preseason game I played in since I think like the 2020 Rose Bowl, and so uh, yeah, I mean I, I think I've definitely got some stuff to build on, and I uh, got some reps, and it'll be nice to see myself on tape and be able to uh, critique that and see what I can do better, but. Yeah, as far as Joe, I have no idea. You have to ask him or Zach or, you know, somebody with uh, some knowledge on that. But I'm going to prepare like I'm the guy, just like I do every week. I had no idea. Everybody started asking me about this first thing. I had no idea that was even. I had no idea why. I thought they were talking about someone else on the team. Uh, it was kind of a switch of roles where, you know, I'm like, damn, I'm, I wish I would have done this. And he's like, man, I think he threw it to the right guy, and, and it was an accurate ball. And so it was kind of the, the reassurance, and uh, it was kind of a role reversal where you're saying, hey, you're playing well, and, you know, keep moving around and stuff like that. And so, uh, yeah, it was good. I mean, again, it's how you would expect Reed Joe, pretty self-aware, he's going to know, you know, and try and support and try and um, do whatever he can to help us out. But... Fortunately, we weren't able to get done. Yeah, I mean, I got a lot of confidence in myself. Like, uh, that's, I think I'm borderline delusional when it comes to the optimism of, like, hey, I'm going to go win the game. And yeah, it's, it's, but it's objectively a tough situation. My first real non preseason NFL action against the number one defense on a short week. And, but I don't kind of why I have a job. And Joe goes down, I go in and, uh, you know, just try and win the game. Take outside and might look at this team. They're five and five, lost their starting quarterback at least for one week, and, and think that uh, the, the Bengals might be in trouble. What, what's your take and what do you think the team feels about the situation? Uh, I don't, I mean, as far as the team, I think we know that we're just going to keep fighting one practice at a time. It's kind of what Zach said after the game. Joe Mixon said the same thing, just one practice at a time. I think it is a situation where I'm the guy going forward and I have to play, and I'm going to have the same mindset. One practice at a time, just keep trying to get better. And you know, I've done that on practice squads and, and in practice for a couple of years now. And I've always kind of gone through, like, okay, if I'm when my opportunity comes, like, here's what my routine will look like. So I'm feel like I'm ahead of the ball on that and you just follow coach's advice from just one practice at a time and just keep rolling and I mean I've watched it from the sidelines of the ups and downs of you know the the season seems like every year I've been here it's we start off slow then we get rolling then something happens and it's like you know you're either the Super Bowl winner or you're the worst team in the NFL it's just kind of a roller those strain comes with the job I think just going through and being prepared and not overthinking it too much. So, you know, what will this be like? What will this be like? And just 
kind of having a plan and going through in my head, like, hey, here's what it's going to feel like when Joe goes down and, and when I go in. And so when it happens, it's still prepared for it. Yeah, I mean, I think most of the people I think that are outside of the locker room, like, I, I think, you know, going into, like, the Monday night game where it was looking like I was going to play up until the last second, you know, it was kind of encouraging for me. There's a sense of optimism and, like, an excitement around, hey, he's going to get a shot to play and not this doom and gloom. And so uh, I think it's kind of the same thing. I get a lot of confidence from going against our defense every day. I mean, I think coming out of – that's obviously a very good defense, but I've been doing scout teams for a while, and – you are running the worst play into the worst look. And so it's nice to go run some plays like, oh, there's people open. And uh, so I've, I've kind of been preparing like I'm going to be the guy and uh, get a lot of confidence from my teammates and just keep pushing. Stay in the moment, play by play uh, on the sideline. You know, I probably look like I'm zoning out, but just kind of staying that mindset of just like one play at a time, one play at a time. Don't look at the score, don't look at whatever. Don't think about the situation or anything like that. Just what's the play, run the play. I mean, like I said, I, had a, I have a ton of confidence in myself. So it's, I mean, I guess there's maybe more. But we lost, so it's kind of a weird thing. But I didn't feel like I was out of place or anything like that. So there's, there's, but I didn't really feel that way coming in either. I've had, you know, a lot of really good years on practice squads and wait for an opportunity. And so if that opportunity continues, uh, or this opportunity continues going forward, then yeah, I got a lot of confidence in myself, and I think my teammates do too. And so that just kind of stacks on top of each other, and you know, we'll see what it looks like going forward.